Hey everyone, let's dive into the highlights from the vice presidential debate between Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz. This debate was packed with policy discussions, heated exchanges, and a few dodged questions. First up, foreign policy and climate change took center stage early on. Vance, with his TV-friendly demeanor, seemed to navigate the topic smoothly, while Waltz's approach appeared a bit uncertain at times. But things really heated up when the candidates were asked about the 2020 election and the events of January 6th. Vance sidestepped directly answering if he believed Trump lost the election. Instead, he pivoted to criticize Democrats for their past objections to election results. He also dodged a question about deporting undocumented immigrants with U.S.-born children, a policy Trump has promised to bring back. On the other hand, Walls aimed to shine a spotlight on Trump's character and past performance as president, echoing Kamala Harris's strategy in previous debates. Despite a few stumbles, Walls managed to keep the focus on unity and moving away from what he called Trump's divisive politics. When it came to the economy, Vance blamed inflation on the Biden administration and promised a return to Trump-era prosperity. Walds countered by emphasizing that unity is key and that the harris walds ticket would steer away from Trump's divisive approach. Now let's fact-check some of the notable claims from the debate. Vance's assertion that increased immigration leads to higher housing prices was challenged by experts who pointed to more significant factors like housing shortages and zoning issues. His claim that Trump's price transparency regulations in healthcare have driven down costs was also met with skepticism as evidence remains inconclusive. Vance's attempts to link inflation solely to Biden's policies were disputed too. While government spending did play a role, global factors like supply chain disruptions and the war in Ukraine were also major contributors. Moreover, his praise for Trump's handling of health care, particularly the failed attempt to repeal the Affordable Care Act, was seen as a misrepresentation. Walds faced scrutiny for his past inaccuracies, like his claim of being in Hong Kong during the Tiananmen Square protests, which he later corrected. Despite these hiccups, Waltz delivered a strong closing statement, emphasizing opportunity, optimism, and rejecting Trump's politics. Overall, both candidates managed to avoid causing harm to their running mates, which is often a key objective in vice presidential debates. And that's a wrap on the VP debate highlights. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the 2024 election. See you next time.